On the call this morning, U.S. markets are positive in early trading after overseas markets swing violently ahead of today's Fed meeting. Collateral damage from the U.S. credit rating downgrade continues to spread as several government-backed institutions are also downgraded to AA+. China, Germany, and France join 22 other countries in their market territory while investors seek shelter in gold. I'm Taylor Schrantz, and the morning call starts right now. Good morning. I'm Scott Redd, the Chief Strategic Officer with T3Live.com. Welcome to today's morning call. Alex is still out, but I'll see what I could do here to help everyone navigate what has been treacherous waters. Even if you've been on the right side of this market, even if your thesis has been bearish, when we've seen these you know, technical patterns, these very bearish situations unfolding, it's been hard to handle. And it's always unfortunate when you go home, you're on the, the ferry, you're on the bus, you're you know, traveling and every single one around you is in pain talking about how horrible the market is, how, oh my goodness, I can't believe we were down another you know, 600 points or so. Can't believe America lost its you know, double A plus. You know, where did everything go wrong? And you know, I want to feel bad for individuals because this is an unfortunate environment for everyone, but these are the individuals that need to start also being aware of what's going on around them, you know, educating themselves like you are by watching the live morning show to figure out how to take common sense, use technical analysis, and a disciplined strategic approach to handling your finances and the markets. Now, today, the Fed meets, hopefully, you know, he'll say something comforting, but at this particular point, this market is so oversold that I do think we would get some type of bounce, but I think it's gonna be a lot lower than people's expectations. This market has changed. The New York stock, the NYSE is now 20% off the highs. You know, once we broke that 1255, everyone's expectations for the year had to come down. You know, beginning of the year, I was thinking 1425. At this particular point, I think we'd be lucky to bounce back to 1250, 1275. And you know, the trade just has changed and you have to change with it. If you take a look at the, the, the chart here of the SPX or the spiders, you'll see you know, this was a very bearish pattern we were talking about. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, oh, I'm sorry if you guys are sick of hearing about it, but I want to show it to you because this is the pattern that could have saved you a lot of pain. This head and shoulders top formation where you had, you know, the breaking or the, of the, the, the 50 day, the breaking of the neckline, and it went down to the measured move. And then even those like myself who tried buying after the measured move got somewhat hurt into yesterday's down move down to 1120. So this was fast furious and this definitely took a lot of market participants by surprise as far as you know buy only mutual funds everyone who thought the market couldn't go lower because of that bid with qe2 it's just been very harsh and unfortunately you know washington keeps you know just kicking the can down the road or washington doesn't want to take accountability the president tried to speak yesterday but all he did is try and blame everyone else around him you know he said oh the you know this it's quadruple rating in my book warren buffett says this not what he's going to do to solve the problems. Everyone has to take accountability from the top down. If you look at the weekly chart of the spiders, you will also see a few levels that I want to show you right now. You know, spiders right now have come off uh, pretty significantly. But if you look at where the lows were to where we had this rollover, this is a, a big support. If you're an active investor and you have the risk tolerance, perhaps buying a little bit into this zone, you know, and then you have a really, really big support coming in to you know this 104 area which I, I you know a lot of people said where else can this market go i'm just looking at levels people didn't believe me that we can get down to 1160 1180 when we were above 1300 and now you know i'm trying to just put plan a b and c what you guys all need is plan a b and c a lot of if then situations to figure out how you could handle yourself and how you could act fast today the futures are up a little bit for me, I'm mapping out some quick resistance levels. I think 1140, which tried to hold as one, and then 1180, which is where the measured move of my head and shoulders pattern comes into play as big resistance. So if we get an oversold bounce over the next few days, I don't think it changes the complexion of the market. It just will relieve the technical um, you know, situation we're in. And then after that, we need to see the action afterwards to figure out whether you should be you know, dipping your feet in the water and to see if we have that formula for a new fledgling rally. Right now, we're still trying to only work on that day one. 